This is insane. I actually don't know if this is a... Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the latest holiday collection from DB Cosmetics. If you guys are new to the channel, hi my name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. Today we are going to be focusing on an Australian brand called DB Cosmetics. I have featured a couple of their products on the channel throughout the years and I have always been really impressed to be completely honest with their products. Their prices are really really inexpensive, like for example this, this set is going to retail for $14.99 to $15 Australian dollars. So you get four of these lipsticks. So that's really, really cheap. And then you also have their festive eyeshadow palettes. As you guys can see, these are so cute. Like, he's a close up. And yeah, again, $15 each. So as you guys can tell, these products are definitely on the lower side of things. But don't be fooled by the prices. They're not cheap quality like they are actually decent like really good quality that's my experience in the past obviously today we're going to be trying them out and seeing if the standards are still there and you know they're still good or they've improved so yeah let's dive right in so okay let's start off first with the eyeshadow palettes i've got the starlight 12 eyeshadow palette as you guys can see this one is very cool toned also let's take a second to appreciate like this little design like the silver um glittery things i don't know what they're called I always kind of really appreciate these like snow globe looking things like really really cute I mean yes they are very gimmicky but it's pretty it's like the festive season that's kind of what you expect like extra AF packaging as you guys can see there's 12 shades in here and from what I can see there are I think five matte shades in this one and then the rest are all shimmery shades again this palette is leaning a little bit more towards cool tone there are probably three shades that i think are more on the warmer side of things really really pretty i think this is what you would normally associate to like a festive glam look very cool tone very just like sparkly i initially wanted to do a look with this but then i saw the other palette and i was like Okay, maybe I'll do a look with that. The other palette is called the Rose Palette, and again, 12 eyeshadows. Very, very pretty. Now, this one has, I think, a few more matte shades compared to the other one. So, this one has seven matte shades, though I do have to say one of them, the very bottom, like, um, aubergine sort of, like, colour. That one kind of looks like it's got flecks of shimmer in there, but I think it's mostly a matte shade. And also, these have, like, foiled glitter eyeshadows, like this one here, and then this one. It's super, super pretty. Stunning. I I also like the fact that they have a ginormous mirror. Like say hello guys. Um yeah, very, very pretty. Now the format of this eyeshadow palette reminds me of Steeler's or Stiller, I don't know how to pronounce it. Steeler's eyeshadow palette. So yeah, very, very similar in design. And then they also have um the Champagne Glow Illuminator palette, so a highlighter palette. This retails for $12.99. Very, very pretty. Now these particular highlight shades, they tend to lean a little bit more towards the cool side of things and definitely I feel like they might be very like metallic-y. I will do a couple of swatches just to see. Like these three over here, they're definitely more of the metallic, um, super blinding sort of like highlighters. Whereas that gold one, which is at the very bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, definitely to me looks more like your traditional everyday golden highlighter. So we'll see how this look pans out. You guys have probably already seen what this makeup look is going to look like. And then we've also got the four lipsticks. So again, these are four matte liquid lipsticks. I remember once upon a time matte liquid lipsticks were just a rarity like only probably Jeffree Star was the only one that had like matte liquid lipsticks I'm exaggerating obviously but you know it was like one of the only few brands that actually had matte liquid lipsticks and now we have a lot of options so I'm really really happy with that so as you guys can see we have like your standard four shades four different tone type of lipsticks we also have the absolute lash lengthening volumizing mascara this one is a tubing mascara to be completely honest I don't really wear or I'm not really fussed I should say with mascaras I tend to just really use mascaras to like frame my lashes so that when I put my lashes on like the fake ones they just you know sit nicely and then I use it to blend so I probably won't really use this just because tubing mascaras aren't really ideal for that sort of process but if you guys are looking for a good tubing mascara maybe check this one out and then they also sent me their glam up beauty toolkit basically brush set eyelash curler and a beauty sponge this one retails for 16.99 to 17 Australian dollars again really inexpensive Expensive. Okay, so for today's look, I'm going to be using the Rose Romance palette. Again, this one is the 
warm tone rosy sort of like shade eyeshadow palette really really pretty okay so i'm just going to use a concealer to prime my eyelids i've got a new concealer actually this one is from laura mercier this one is the flawless fusion ultra Longwear concealer i've recently been getting pr packages for the holiday collections obviously and i am so happy because holiday collection packaging is always so extra it's so pretty like even if you don't particularly like that particular product i feel like the packaging is worth holding on to that's just me like i hoard packaging like i've got like a couple of christmas collection lipsticks from maybe a few collections ago like this one from mac this one's the patrick star lipstick it's just really pretty to just have on your vanity even when this lipstick finally goes off i will still keep it just because it's so extra and this like this is probably going to stay in my collection for a good couple of years until you know i have to like throw things away. First going to grab this shade over here and use it as a transition shade. Ooh, that is quite pigmented. Okay, I'm, I've been sitting here for like a good whole minute, like what do I want to use in my crease? Do I want to go for brown? Do I want to go for that aubergine shade? I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> hmm. okay, I might just go for the aubergine shade. Wow. That, that is, that is hella pigmented. This is insane. I actually don't know if this is a pressed pigment eyeshadow palette just because of how like, that's so pigmented. Honestly, guys, this is something I would expect from a pressed pigment eyeshadow palette, like this amount of pigmentation. But the color is so rich and so pigmented, considering I only lightly dabbed my brush in there and it's doing that. That's really good. And you know how I mentioned there was a little bit of shimmer in this particular eyeshadow? And um, from afar, you can't really tell that there is any sort of like shimmer or sparkle. Up close and personal, you can see the slightest flick of shimmer in there. I'd say it's still overall a matte eyeshadow. Okay, now, do I want to go and dive into the red? No. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab um, that rose gold shade. I've got a flat synthetic brush. Um, it's a bit stained, but it's clean. Yeah, it's clean. And I'm going to grab that. Just really pack it onto my brush. It's quite soft. The shadow is quite soft. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's already sort of like dented or dinted, whatever, however you say it. Um, the actual shadow itself. Okay, so this is definitely I would say this is more of a shadow that you would apply on top of another eyeshadow. Um, it doesn't really have much of a back pigment, if that makes sense. It it feels like it's just like a topper shade on its own. Still very pretty though. I am curious to see how it goes with a setting spray or like a wet brush effect. So I've got this one from iHeart Revolution. This is just a normal fixing spray, setting spray. Get that brush nice and wet and loaded with product. Okay, that to me looks much better. I just prefer my shimmer shades or my lid shade to be very, very pigmented, really bright. Um, and getting it nice and wet like that definitely helps. And this shadow builds up nicely as well. Like I've been layering maybe three layers and it's still really nice. I feel like if you did a proper cut crease, this is going to look absolutely sickening as well. Definitely getting more Valentine's Day sort of like vibes from this palette than festive party but hey you know you can wear whatever kind of makeup you want for festivities all right so i'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my base makeup and then i'll come back and finish off the eyes and then we'll move on to the cheeks for the highlighter and then lipstick i still don't know which lipstick i'm going to be using i thought i wanted to go red but i feel like red with this is a little bit much but we'll see okay so i've done the rest of my base makeup if you guys would like to see how i created this look check out my instagram i'll have it linked down in the description box down below and the specific and the specific video, specific, the specific video and how I created the rest of this look. So now I'm going to go back into the eyes. I would normally wear like a winged line with this look, but I think I want to change it up. No wing hoodies, but I'm not going to go completely bare on the lower lash line. I am going to be using a cool liner. This one is from Rimmel London. This one, I believe is just a brown one. I don't actually know what shape this is. Sable, there you go. Just lightly on the waterline, but mainly on the lower lash line itself. 
And yes, by the way, I'm wearing contact lenses. These ones are Hydrocore in Sephira, which is like a nice deep blue shade. Goes well with this um, sweater. If you guys would like to purchase contact lenses from Vision Marketplace, this is where I got these lenses from, I do have a discount code for you guys. Check out the description box down below. It gives you guys 10% off all orders. I'm just going to grab a smudger brush and I'm just going to use that transition shade. I kind of want to work with that first before I go into that aubergine shade because I don't want it to be too dark and heavy on the lower lash line. Who knows, I might actually end up going there. <laughs> okay, I think that's that's good enough. I'm not going to go for that aubergine shade. All right, for the inner corner, I was going to use the lighter shade in the palette, but I feel like it might be a little bit too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Champagne Glow Illuminator palette and maybe just grab the pinkier toned one here. I think this one's actually called Rosé. Yeah, I feel like the undertone is just right for the look that I'm going for. Okay, that's pretty good so far. I'm just going to go off camera and pop on some lashes, do my brows, and then we'll move on to the highlighter. Okay, lashes and brows are on. Now we're gonna move on to the highlighter. Okay, so I do feel like I want to stick to like pinky tones, but this rosé shade is just way too cool tone for my complexion. I feel like it's gonna look very like streaky metallic, like the old school highlighters, like when we first started getting into highlighters remember those days. I'm instead going to grab this shade over here, which is more of a rose gold shade. Okay, that's definitely more workable for my complexion. Okay, this shimmer is quite chunky, I have to say. It's not very fine. Um, and if you overdo it, you definitely get that metallic streak. Like, I purposefully did that for this side so that I could just see the difference. But it looks stunning overall. I think it looks really pretty. I do have to. I do have to say, if you have um, uneven textures, scarring, large pores, maybe just use light dusting of this particular um, illuminator, just because it might just emphasise it a little bit too much. But overall, it's. Um, very stunning, very bright. Okay, for the lips, I was initially going to go ahead and grab that wine shade, but I feel like it's going to be a bit too much. If this were more purple, I probably would get away with it with this particular look, but this one's definitely more red than nude shade, which is called Raisin Rumors. Yeah, it doesn't actually say how much product is in individually. Not that I can see, at least at first glance. But this is going to be more nude, but this one actually looks more on the brown sort of side of things. I do, however, feel like I need a lip liner. So I've just got this one from Morphe. This one is a dark brown shade called Toasty. Okay, so... To be completely honest, I probably wouldn't pair this particular eye look with this lipstick. It's definitely throwing off more brick red. I thought it was going to be a little bit more nude just because of how it looked in the container itself. So keep that in mind, it is going to apply a little bit darker. Um, but instead of like completely removing the whole thing, I think I'm just going to apply a lighter lipstick in the middle just to make things work. Okay, so pretty much done. I'm just going to set everything and then we'll talk about the collection. All right, guys, so there you guys go. That is the final look. And yes, I applied a little bit of gloss. I just felt like this look needed a little bit more sparkle, shine. But otherwise, let's move on to the first impressions of this video. Okay, let's start off first with the eyeshadow palette. So again, I use the Rose Romance 12 eyeshadow palette. Very, very beautiful shades and very, very pigmented. The matte shades took me by surprise. As you guys saw from the first application, I thought like, wow, this is really pigmented. By the second matte shade, I was, I think, I am convinced these are pressed pigments. If they're not pressed pigments, they are very close to a pressed pigment. Very, very pigmented. I don't know how many times I said pigmented. In terms of that shimmer shade on the eyelid, stunning, stunning, stunning. And um, it is definitely more of a rose gold. I feel like with this eyeshadow combination, it's definitely looking a little bit more purpley pink. But then when I tilt my head, certain directions you can definitely see more of that rose gold i don't know if it's translating well on camera but it's very very pretty and also the formula is layered on top of each other really really well very impressed all right moving on to the illuminator palette as you can see it's a fingerprint magnet <laughs> Stunning shades, and um, these are definitely more on the metallic, super bright highlighter shades, and individually they all kind of have that similar texture, very sort of like chunky shimmer shades, not quite glitter, but definitely quite noticeable. I feel like from a distance they're stunning, very blinding, but again, like I said in the 
application. If you have textural issues, you may want to use a light hand with this. That way it doesn't really emphasize pores, texture. You get the gist. Okay, moving on to the liquid lipstick set. So again, $15, $14.99. Pretty good value for money. I was a little bit disappointed in terms of like this color. Like when I look at it, it looks a little bit more on the nude side of things. When I say nude, not like really light, but like a very natural color to my complexion. I applied it, it was a little bit darker than I expected and it turned a little bit red, which I wasn't expecting because when you look at it in the packaging, it looks more like a brownie pink shade, but then on the lip, it looked more like a brick red, like not full on red, but brick red. So it's going to be interesting to see how the other three shades apply on my skin or my lips, if they're going to look a little bit darker or if the undertone looks a little bit different. Just to keep that in mind, I mean, it does say Raisin Rumours, so I should have sort of anticipated it should have turned that particular shade. But then again, you know, I just kind of like went visually how it looked. But otherwise, in terms of the form, it was really nice and comfortable on the lips. Obviously, I am wearing lip gloss at the moment. That's just how I like my lips at the moment. I kind of feel like a brat stall because I just overdrew my lips a little bit too much today. But yeah. Um, in terms of the formula, really nice, very, very pigmented. I didn't really have to layer too much just to get that opacity all over, all over my lip can't speak today. It didn't have a tacky feel. It dried fairly matte. I wouldn't say 100% matte, but fairly matte quite quickly. And layering products on top of it didn't cause it to peel or ball. If you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you put too much product on top of each other, it starts to ball up and you just end up ruining the whole thing. That didn't happen with that. So that's a really good one to try. Obviously I didn't try everything they sent to me in this collection. But if you guys would like me to do a tutorial or another sort of like first impressions review on the other products in the collection that I have, definitely let me know down in the comment box down below. Um, but otherwise, that is pretty much it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to see more videos from me, definitely check out the description box down below. Also the eye on the screen. I'll also link other videos that you guys might be interested in. And definitely check out my Instagram as well. I do a lot of behind the scenes, Instagram stories, that sort of thing over there as well. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.